What up, everybody? Uh, what the? What was that? <laughs> what up? Oh, Jesus. What's up, everybody? Welcome back here to a set of Corsa for a shakedown of a new street drift car, my C5 Corvette. You guys have probably seen C5 before in Forza Motorsport 7. It was my go to car for ESDA. Got my buddy Nate doing donuts in his missile car. We're at the Bushido Series Rockingham track to do some shakedown tandems in the C5. Nate's rocking his most comfortable car, that 13 he learned to drift in. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get Grab some doors. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Yeah, on you. That would help if I didn't stall the car. Hold on. All right, we're good. <laughs> First gear. Filling all that zone. Oh, that zone too. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I went too wide on that one. Are we okay? Not a terrible first run. So if you guys have been on the, around the channel for a long time, like I was saying, you guys know about the C5 VET. I used to run in Forza Motorsport 7 with the ESDA competition and stuff like that. It was my home. So now I have a new home in a set of Corsa with this C5. So you can't grab Nate's door. Like that. <laughs> or like that. Hi, Nate. Ooh. Saw a little booty bump. A little bit. Man, that was some saucy parts in the beginning. <laughs> I think I rubbed your door a couple times. I, I think so. You just maybe once or twice. A couple of little door scratches. It's okay. You have a missile car, right? No. Oh. Oh no, we'll check to see if I have blue paint marks after. Right? Thank you. Oh my lord! I didn't know if you were going to let me transition. <laughs> Back up. Holy deep into that zone. The tandems are just so good right now. It's always good when you have somebody you know how they drive, so you can just go all out and not have to worry about it. <laughs> just flat footing it with a little, little bit of feather. A little, little bit break. of feather, a little bit of break. So if you guys have been around the channel, you guys have known the progression of... Uh, Nate, from when he first started drifting with me till now, as, as you can see, what a couple months of uh, tandem practice and a good solid car can do, because, you know, he was stuck on my door a little bit. I remember the first time I came to Rockingham, I hated it. You hated it, and now it's like our home. Such an amazing track. Oh, oh yeah. too much wall. Rockingham has probably become my favorite home track to do tandems with just because it's so flowy There's a lot of Good turns a lot of long angles and it's just there's a lot to do and there's a lot of places You can suck up on a door and just have you know a good amount of fun on it And you know, I think I think probably my favorite Track that you know, I've ever actually got a chance to compete with two when I was qualifying for Bushido series. Probably the one track that I got my best qualifying runs that was really deep. I thought I was gonna hit the wall. And it's funny because when I was my favorite track, the track that I competed with in this one, I was in the C six. 
the Bushido Series C6, and now I'm back in another vet on, you know, Rockingham. I'm noticing a trend here. So this is gonna be, oh my! <laughs> you thought I was gonna hit, didn't you? I did. I strained out a little <laughs> I bit. Saw I thought you, you were gonna go into off. The wall. <laughs> So this is gonna be one of the cars that are gonna be in the street cars that I'm building, because I know you guys have wanted some street cars. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think I should keep no cage in this car and do some street cars without cages? We're gonna be bringing the A90 Super out in this, as well as this car and some other like E46s and stuff like that. But would you rather see more street style cars like this? or full blown out drift cars with cages and like rear mount radiators and such. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think because this is one of them. Some fine tuning I need to do this car with uh, changing the seats, getting some energy equipment in this car of course, maybe change up coloring the wheel and some liveries and work on that nature. But I've been having a lot more fun on street style tuned cars, less power, not as much aggression as a comp car. I almost lost it there <laughs> so let me know what you guys prefer blown out comp cars eight nine hundred horsepowers or some street style cars anywhere from 200 to 500 horsepower what's your favorite pick let me know down below what's your favorite pick nate diesel wagon do it diesel wagon <laughs> i mean or or uh, you, you thought E46 really messed everyone up. 318 Ti drift car. 318 Ti. Mm, that might be a good one. Don't see those every day. I had one of those back in the day. Not obviously not a drift version. Right. I was about to, like, are you just, telling me something I didn't know about you? Just, just a 318. I had one. So, I think for a first shakedown on this vet, it's uh, handling quite well. We all know that that 13, that Nate's Rocket, is a very stable car. You guys can download that. I'll leave the link in the description box because that car is public for you guys if you guys want to rock that car as well. If, if you haven't downloaded any of my cars, uh, you kind of need to and try them because I've been getting nothing but good rapport and good you know, feedback on those cars with the way they handle, the way they drive. People that have never been able to drift before are able to hop in those cars, get sideways, and have some fun with them. So, that's why I'm bringing more cars out. Oh, that's a door tap. Probably would have lost a lot of fiberglass on this vet, though. Dude, it's just so tight. Oh, I didn't let you transition. Oh, my bad. I'll take that pass, though. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't let you transition. My bad. I was filling so many zones right there. You were, and then I went knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, vet. <laughs> I think we'll get. Oh, stalled it. Not a, not a Mustang. We'll get one or two more runs here for this episode. So if you guys, oh, oh my god. Uh, I couldn't get any closer to that. Oh, I tapped that. Oh, I freaked out. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> oh, I tapped the wall. I'll let you get a mulligan on that one. <laughs> I tapped the wall and I like, I don't know why I freaked out, but I like changed my wheel positioning. I was like, Ugh! all right, let's do this. Like that with no handbrake. Look at him flicking the wrists. I think I might change the sound of the vet. I don't know if I'm too set on this sound. Oh, wall tap. Big wall tap at the end. Alright, Nate, you got one more lead run. Make it a saucy one. Great. There's the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you handle the pressure? It's the final battle, final round, final lead run. Who's gonna win? Let's do it.
I don't know, that's pretty uh it's pretty spicy right there. Oh my god, keep it, keep it, keep it! Jesus! I don't know, that was a pretty spicy run. I'll give Lost you that one. I'll give you that one. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. A quick shakedown of the new C5 Drift Vet. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you guys tap and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to help support the channel. All you got to do is subscribe. Turn those bell notifications on. It's all you need to do to help support me and the channel. And I'll keep bringing you guys content. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. He's Nate. That guy right there in the beat up car. And I'll see you guys on the track.